Hey everybody, so today is Monday, November 5th, and I am going to be very, very busy today. So the only thing, unfortunately, I have for you guys to vlog is um, the Creepy Crate. Yes, that was my chair. I need to get a new chair. Um, the Creepy Crate, the October Creepy Crate, which I got really late. Um, because I was actually supposed to get it a couple of weeks ago and I was supposed to unbox it in my October book haul and unfortunately that didn't happen and unfortunately I've seen almost everything in it because Instagram spoils the crap out of me all the time so I already know what's in here but I'm still very very excited about everything um, if you want to get one of these boxes you can use my code Richards Books and you can get five dollars off of your first box I do not make any money off of the code so let me just let you guys know that um, but we're going to open it now. I am going to be really busy, really, really, oops, really, really busy, um, this week and next week and probably the rest of the month. I thought that October was going to be busy, but it actually really wasn't that bad. This month I think is going to be extremely busy because I have to like, like my book's coming out next month. So yeah, I, it's going to be busy and I really wanted to get back into reading more and maybe I will I want to go to the library so we'll see what happens with that but okay let's get into this so I see everything so the first thing I see is this 10% off code for fright rags and i um, not sure if I'm gonna use that because I've bought shirts from them before and they're bigger sizes the material is not good like it feels like crap and I don't like it and the next thing ooh, is a Michael Myers, I actually kind of forgot that this was in here. Michael Myers tote, this says my favorite holiday is Halloween. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, okay, this is the spoiler card. I see, I see a keychain, um, the Overlook Hotel keychain. This is room 237, if you guys know. And it says come play with us on the back. It is a vintage looking keychain. I have one of these. This is a base motel one that I did get from a Creepy Crate box. And they are so cool, like, I love these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using this one. The other one I have like on the wall as decoration, but I'm gonna be using that one. Then, this, th I think this is cool. Like, I saw these in the, in the pictures on Instagram, and I was like, this is fucking cool. So this is a Hawkins Public Library checkout card, and a Hawkins Public Library card. There's a barcode in the back, and a place for you to sign in. Isn't that cool? So obviously this is from Stranger Things, which I absolutely loved. Season one, season two, I didn't like it that much. I love season one, it's one of my favorites ever, but yeah, so I'm really happy to have these. Like this is really cool. I like that. I love the library card, like in the library checkout card. Like this is just, I love it, I love it. And then, I see a book. You were supposed to get either this book or another one. And this is Devil's Day, and I have no idea what this is about. It looks pretty creepy, so, yeah. The ne Oh, we have two last things in here, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So we have two last things. We have a shirt, which I think is really cool. This is, I didn't actually get to see what this was. Like, Welcome to the World Columbian Exposition, 1893, Chicago, oh. Oh, oh, okay, so. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is um, a t-shirt with H.H. H. Holmes on it, who, if you don't know, is a serial killer. Yes. Then the last thing I see, which is like really, really exciting, is a mug. And um, I am not going to be able to open this for you guys. I could try. I could try it. Did I have some scissors with me? Okay, so I'm opening the mug, which is proving to be difficult. But I like that they packaged it like crazy so that it doesn't break, which I think is awesome. And I have no idea what it is. We'll have to look at the spoiler card. Yep, I was right. That was a H.H. H. Holmes t-shirt. A tarot card mug. Okay, so it's a tarot card mug. And the tote bag, the Stranger Things library bookmark. Oh, it's a bookmark. And a card and a horror movie inspired key tag yeah oh i like this this is cute so it's a like khaki colored mug and it says warmed over on it but it's a tarot card i'm pretty sure that's like the death tarot card but um yeah that is really really cool i like that 
You can fit a lot of coffee in here, so I'll more than likely be using it. I really like this box. This is a lot of fun. Yes, now I have things to clean up. Lovely. But as I said, if you want to get yourself a box, you can use the code. It is below. There's a link to the website too as well. I'm going to be using this box for storage. Did I mention how beautiful this box looks? Like, look how pretty that is. That is amazing. But, yeah, so that's pretty much it for you guys, you know, that I have for you guys today. Um, I'll probably see you guys either tomorrow or the next day. I have no idea what this week's going to be like. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and work on Carnival of Doom right now. Probably eat. I haven't eaten anything today. And it is uh, 4 31 in the afternoon. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna go eat before I faint. I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, yes, alright, bye. Hey everybody, so it is Thursday. It is Thursday night. And I just got done trying to film. I look really blue. There we go. I just got done trying to film. Yeah, that's better. I don't know if you can tell my eyes are a little bit red because I was cleaning the makeup off my face. I just got done trying to film my first video for my beauty channel and it didn't work out. So, um, probably gonna have to film it again. But, yeah, I kinda, I kinda had a feeling that it wasn't gonna go good the first time around. The clips were too long, my SD card got full, my camera died, like yeah, it just wasn't good. The air is on low, so it's making that ugly humming sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but right now I'm about to do some more work because I really, really need to. Um, I need to get this done this week. I really need to get this done. These last edits, I need them done this week. I only have tomorrow, really. No, I have the weekend. I have tomorrow, and then I have Saturday and Sunday to work on it. I do want to mention this, just in case I don't mention it tomorrow. I do take um, December off, um, so they more than likely won't be any videos in December so yeah I'm letting you guys know that because I always take a break at the end of the year I don't know if that might change I you know might be able to do December I don't know yet but I'm thinking right now I'm probably gonna end up taking December off but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and work on that and I will more than likely see you all tomorrow and yeah that's pretty much it okay so I uh, will see you all bye So it is Friday night. I know this vlog week wasn't that eventful that much. But I did get this in the mail today. This is the new Murder Chronicles um, subscription. This is um, a subscription <laughs> that you can subscribe to that is a mystery. So it includes some files and for you to solve a mystery with the main character of the mysteries. I have not been very good at keeping up with it. But it just sounds really fun and from what I have been reading from it from the last couple of cases that I got, it seems like it's gonna be a good time, so I think I need to really get up on this really soon. But if you wanna get yourself one, there's a code and a link below. Um, yes, and then my friend Gabby sent me, she was cleaning out her collection. If you're watching Gabby, thank you again. She sent me, I Know What You Did Last Summer on VHS, an urban legend on VHS, and I Still Know What You Did Last Summer on DVD and Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters on DVD. Yeah, so she was really awesome. I can't wait to add these to my collection. But that is, that's it, right? That's it. I have this candle going, which I've loved this candle for years. This is a candle called Cracklin' Fire and it's by Woodcraft and it's from Dollar Tree. And it has that wick that like sparks and like crackles and it smells just like a fire. Like as, like as if you have the fireplace going, that's exactly how it sounds. And it smells. So yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to the library tomorrow. I will see you guys tomorrow for the little um, vlog that I'm going to do at the library. Yeah, alright, so I will see you all. Bye! Bye.
Saturday night and I just got back from the library. I was there all day and it was amazing. I haven't been to the library and stayed there all day in a long time and I'm really happy and really um, scared because I got a lot of books or what I think are a lot of books and I'm not going to show you them in this video. You're going to have to wait till my TBR video because that's going to go up next week after this vlog clip because this is the last one. Yes, for the week. Hope you guys had a good week. This was a, it was an okay week. But I will show you um, the movies that I got from the library and what I got from the library bookstore. So what I got from the library, the movies, I got Dark Shadows. Yes, because I haven't seen that in a while and I really want to see it again. And then I want to rewatch Murder on the Orient Express because, you know, it's like fall going into winter soon and I just want to and I love this movie then I haven't seen this one and I really want to see it and I didn't get to see it when it came out in theaters Paddington 2 I know you're like it's a kids movie but bitch I don't care I loved the first one and I'm really excited to watch this one and then I haven't seen this one either but everyone was talking about it for a long time The Shape of Water so I got it and I guess we'll see if I like it I just realized that my closet door is wide open I hate that in videos like if that's a pet peeve of mine Wow Richard and then I got ghost stories of El Paso volume 4 and I'm pretty sure I haven't seen this one this is a DVD like documentary about ghost stories in my city and yeah I don't think I've seen this one so I'm excited to watch that but sadly I only only could get five DVDs I wish we could get more at the library um, because I would have got like 10 and I would have watched them all. I love supporting my library. Because, um, you know, I could probably find them online or something. But I'd rather support my library and get them from there. And then, um, from the library bookstore, I paid a quarter each for these. And the first one is Eden, Eden West by Pete Hotman. This is a YA book. It has the discard stamps all over. I don't know when they started doing that because they would just do it on the top. And it would be fine but now it's all over and it looks ugly um i used to work in the library so i know but like i know why they do it but i don't know why they do it all the way around like just do it on the top whatever um but this one sounds really interesting and also the reason why i got it was because it sounds really 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 similar to a book that i'm working on right now that i've been working on for a really long time and i want to read this because i want to see how similar it is because i've never read this before and like I don't, don't want to get called a copycat or anything but um yeah but you'll see this again in my book haul and I'll tell you guys more about what it's about and then I got So Be It by Sarah Weeks that's actually like a friend of mine in high school that was her name um it is not my friend from high school but um this one is a middle grade contemporary about a young girl whose mom I think is autistic and she ends up going like on a cross road what cross country journey in search of her past and I know there's a movie and I really want to see the movie but I'd rather read the book first so I got that and it doesn't have a dust jacket which yeah this one has a cool dust jacket it's like a half dust jacket um, and then this one doesn't have one either this is a turtle back and this one is the book of blood and shadow by Robin Wasserman I've seen this for years on booktube but I've never read it and um, I've been hearing like it's pretty good. On the back it says One Girl, One Night, Centuries of Secrets. And um, it's like, I think, yeah, it takes place in one night, I guess. I love books like that. The other reason why I got it um, is uh, the first sentence. I should probably start with the blood. Yes, if you can grab me like that, yes. And also a quarter, yes. So that's all I got from the library bookstore. So... The rest of the books you'll have to see in my TBR, but I also got this. It is a new bookstore that's opening called Dell's Books and More, and it's opening like about five minutes away from the library, and I'm really excited to go check this out because we don't have bookstores in my city. Like, we've got two, and that's it, and they're super far away, and one of them is a Christian bookstore, and the another one is, like, really far away, like, almost too far for me to go. So, the fact that we're getting another one, um, and an ind independent one, too, yes, 
Yes. And we have Barnes & Noble, but like, oh, I'm gonna go pay $20 for a book. But you must got me. I'm gonna go ahead and go now. Um, I'm exhausted, and I will see you all next weekend, and then this week with my TBR video. It's gonna be a little late, but that's okay. Alright. Alright. So, um, I will see you all. Bye. Bye.